today my LED strip came in and this is the uh, 5 meter 300 RGB LEDs waterproof and each one you know well they come in little threes and you can cut them at every three and I already tested it with the controller and it works which I will flash the picture of or video so uh, let me walk over to my aquarium this is my resealed aquarium. I resealed it myself. And what the? Hell? No, never mind. Yeah, I resealed it myself, and it's been good for. You know, it's been running for almost two weeks now, and no leaks. It does evaporate faster because I didn't put the top back on. I didn't like it. It was glass and it was all f***ed up because of calcium buildup. And then. I, you know, have a heater running in there and it's at 72. Right now I'm cycling in Tetras. But, yeah, see, this is the aluminum housing I made for the lights. And before, like, I, you know, I bought the aluminum and I cut it myself and riveted it together. And this was from, like, you know, a hardware store that any one of you can find. And these were the lights that I was using prior. Which I will flash a picture of what it looked like. But these are just regular five millimeter white LEDs, uh, put in a series of three, and then one uh, 470 ohm resistor in series. And then there's three sets hooked up in parallel, six sets total to run across the two bars. And then that was running off a nine volt two amp wall wart. And then like you know, I went on eBay and I got these, which are one centimeter wide. Which is perfect and I got you know a little transformer or uh, switching transformer this is the one I normally have but as you can see it's got too much stuff and I don't really need that so I got a 12 volt one but when I tried it on my uh, 2 amp one it works just fine because it's only uh, maybe what two meters worth of this stuff not even maybe a foot or a meter and a half and it works perfect on two so you know, here's the remote this thing, let me turn off the lights. Right now it's in a fade between like all the colors and I set it really slow, so we'll try it out for blue. And it's really bright, like, it's pretty damn bright. And then, you know, you can change the dimness and stuff. You can see any other person's video that shows it, and you know, that'll explain the remote to you, but this works perfectly right now. I just need to finish cycling out the tank, I can add more stuff. But yeah, set it back to fade. And if uh, if you do get one of these little controllers, which I have hanging right here, little white box, if you turn off your power supply, like I have my power supply hooked up to a timer, and when the power turns back on, it's gonna automatically resume from where you left off. So, right now it's cycling through the colors. Yeah, and that's it. So, actually let me show you the bar that I made. So it's pretty much, you know, a piece of 3 fourths inch, 1 16th inch thick aluminum bar, which I have, well, you know, I have a 3D model. So, I'll, I'll show that to you. And yeah, there's silicone on the ends, even though it's got adhesive tape on the back. I still have them silicone on the ends, just for, you know, make sure an aquarium is damp, so make sure of that. And yeah, I'll maybe do an update. 